a two and a one, two, let's go. And today we have something very special for you. It's called a nursery rhyme. Yep, a nursery rhyme. And this particular nursery rhyme is called Hickory Dickory Dock. And things that I would like for you to listen for are rhyming words and position words. Rhyming words are words that sound alike. It's at the end of the word. And position words tell you the direction to go. So let's listen up. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. Tick tock. You guys are so great at this. Let's see if we can do it with some hand movements now. Here we go. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. Tick tock. You guys are so awesome. So, let's see if we can find any rhyming words in hickory dickory dock. Remember what we said about rhyming words? They sound alike. And position words that tells you the direction where, that they go. All right, here we go. Let's try it again. Here we go. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. Remember, tick tock. Do you hear rhyming words? You do? Well, what two rhyming words do you hear? And if you have these, uh, this nursery rhyme at home, you guys can either write it out, write out the words and circle them at home, or you can print them off. So here we go. Hickory dick. Uh, what did you say, Jonathan? Oh, it was hickory. And what other word? Dickory. Those two words sound alike. Rebecca, what about you? Do you hear rhyming words? You do? What two rhyming words do you hear? Uh, you're right at the bottom. There's hickory again, and there's dickory again, but I believe there's another set of rhyming words. Let's see. Let's ponder a minute and see if we can find them. Josue, oh, here we go. Josue, do you know what the other two nursery rhyming words are? Ask your mommy. She'll tell you. You're right. Doc and clock. So this time, instead of circling like we did with the nursery rhyme, we're going to underline the position words in hickory dickory doc. All right. So here we go. Hickory dick and up. Uh, do me a favor, when you hear a position word, put your hand out for stop. All right, here we go. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up. You're right, up. The clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Good job. Hickory dickory dock. Tick tock. Good job. You guys found the position words and the nursery rhyme, the rhyming words. So now let's go back to our seats, friends. Here we go. So now we said, let's look at the clock. 
clock. The mouse ran up the clock. Here's our clock. And a clock has two hands. Let's count them. One, two. How many hands do you have? Right, you have two hands. Well, a clock has two hands, and in order for us to have one o'clock, it has a long hand and a short hand. And the long hand has to point straight up onto the number 12. What two numbers make 12? One and two. Yep, one and two. So it goes right in front of the one and two. And the short hand goes on the number one. What does the number one look like? It looks like a stick. Yeah, it kind of looks like a stick, it does. It doesn't reach all the way in front of the one like it does the 12 because this one is the short hand. You have a long hand and then you have a short hand. So what happened to that mouse? The mouse did what? Mm, the mouse ran up the clock. The mouse ran up the clock. Yep, he's going up there to that clock. But all of a sudden, as he kept going up that clock, and the clock struck one. What do you think that sound is when it strikes one on a big clock like that? It probably goes boom. It can be gray. 
So the bark can be brown or gray on a, on a hickory tree. Did you know how big a hickory tree can grow? It can grow bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. It can grow 100 feet tall. Whoa, buddy, that's really tall. It can grow 100 feet tall. The leaves, what color do you think the leaves grow on a hickory tree? Yeah, yeah, they are green. They have green leaves and they also have what color is that? Yellow, yellow leaves as well. Here is a picture of a hickory tree. That's a hickory tree. Now, I'm getting ready to try to fool you. Let me see if I can fool you. You have your thinking caps on? Let's ponder a minute because I have a question for you. Something really tricky. What is something that we get from a bark of a tree that we can eat? From the bark, from the bark of a tree that we can eat. <gasps> it's sweet. It can be gooey, ooey, gooey. It can be sticky once you're finished. And it's brown. What do you think that is? You want a hint? Okay, let me tell you what you can eat it on. It's, you can put it on your pancakes. Oh, you're right, syrup, syrup. I heard you, syrup. Good job. Yes, syrup. You can pour syrup on your pancakes and you can get the syrup from the bark of the tree. Good job, friends. I'm so glad you helped me with Hickory Dickory Dock. But now, I would like for you to join me in positions. So if you have a chair at home, I would like for you to do some directions with me. All right, are we ready? I'm gonna move on over. Here's my friendly chair. And here's my friend, Alberto. Alberto the bear. Right now, Alberto the bear is doing what? He's sitting in the chair. Can you sit in the chair? Hmm, all right, good job, friends. Up uh, now, can you sit next to the chair? Alberto is sitting next to the chair. Are you doing what Alberto's doing? Good job. Uh, let's see, can Alberto sit? in front of the chair. Can you sit in front of the chair like Alberto? Here we go. Boop. Alberto is sitting in front of the chair. Are you in front of the chair? I'm gonna trick you again. I'm gonna try to trick you again. So put on your thinking caps. Can you sit beside? Boop. Beside the chair. Alberto is sitting beside the chair. Here's another tricky. This time I'm going to put Alberto and you tell me where Alberto is. Where is Alberto? Behind the chair. Behind. What's another word for behind? In back up. In back up. You guys are so smart. Wow. Up oh, here we go. Oh, Alberto, what are you doing, Alberto? Where are you going? Where are you going, Alberto? Where are you going? Oh, where is Alberto now? Alberto is wait, where did you say he was? Under the chair. He's up. Oh, Alberto, you so silly. 
He's, what's another word for under? Beneath, beneath, he's sitting beneath the chair. So friends, this is the end of Circle Time Fun with Miss Rainer. Two thumbs up until next time.